My name is Bernard Ashwanden. At Publishing Smarter, one of the things we do is put together videos like this one in order to help people learn how to use their software tools better. This video teaches you to install Adobe FrameMaker 9, but the same idea applies to FrameMaker 10. To get started, after you've downloaded the installer, double click it. The installer has to be extracted to individual files. In order to get started, make sure you have enough free space wherever you want to extract to. Be patient as the extraction could end up taking a couple of minutes. Once extracted, click Finish. If required, select an installation language. The installer launches. Take the time during the installation to read each of the dialog boxes. In most of the cases that follow, we're just going to use the defaults, but depending on how your system's set up, you may need to configure these. As with most software, there's a licensing agreement, so make sure you read it and you know what you're agreeing to before you proceed. Unless you already have a serial number, go ahead and click I want to install and use Adobe FrameMaker on a trial basis. Select an interface language. In North America this is traditionally US English. In the rest of the world it's traditionally International English. Select the complete setup type unless there's a good reason to customize it. Again, depending on the speed of your system, the extraction and installation could take a couple of minutes. When the install's done, click Finish. You can also delete the installation files once you're done. Select the files, then press Delete. Depending on your system setup, you may have additional prompts to confirm. 